Um, so this is kind of awkward. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, stage five. I went in with the exact same team that I did with stage four because I was like, I was looking at obviously the characters that I need to fight against, and I'm just like, if I tank and let Asta just kind of clear house. Bro, who would have thought Black Arthur would have been the MVP right now? Because he Loki is the MVP. I'll, 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 I'll run the game right now so you guys can see. Just to clarify, I just went straight into this using the exact same team, knowing how much I can tank. I had no idea on what was going on. You know, I mean, right there, Gorsha took an absolute beating. Um, so furthermore, what I found out is that if you take care of each of those grunts, they give you invincibility. So the way it works is that you want to defeat one of the grunts, get invincibility, so you can basically protect yourself from Heath doing his ultimate, because he does hit pretty hard. That's basically the mechanic for stage 5. You kill the grunt at, just before Heath does his ultimate, so that way, one, you don't freeze, and one, you don't get O-code. Um, and the reason why I brought Asta is because, well, I mean... If, if, if the enemies start hitting him, obviously he'll then get his anti-magic going on and then it's going to be a GG. Now the grunts themselves on the side aren't exactly that much of an issue. They don't, well, they, they do lose their health pretty easily. Like, I mean, you guys will see right here, Arthur will do a decent amount of damage right there, right? So they're quite flimsy. Um, but they're really just there to give you that invincibility once you uh, Oko them. So that way you're protecting yourself against actually Heath's attack. And uh, again, this is my first attempt. This is my first freaking attempt. I had no idea about this invincibility stuff. I didn't even know it was a thing. I just went in there and I just cleared house. And if they do attack you right there, they do take away two SP. So that's also... So we're getting absolutely dominated. Although I've got um, a good defense up right now. So that's why we managed to absorb it all. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking at my SP and I'm just like, right, I'm going to have to resort to nuking at some point. But then again, I've got two grunts. So again, I don't know all of this. I know it now after it's all happened, but yep, Heath is staying up once again. I'm just like, right, I need to get my defense up for my whole team. That's exactly what I do. Keep in mind, I've got invincibility on Gulder, so he's actually eating that up very nicely. Support Asta in the, in the offensive and give him barrier too. Obviously, damage comes in. And at this point, I was like, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to hope and pray. It came through. 800k nuke. Obviously, this guy doesn't hit as hard. Boom. <laughs> First attempt. Obviously, I've got to redo it so that way I do it without anyone dying. But now I know the mechanics of things, I should be able to do it. But that, this was my first ever attempt of doing stage five. And I used the same team that I did on stage four. Oh my god. And then there we go. So, got to redo through the stages so that way I can claim the highest rarity on the uh, substat reroll. But yeah, there you have it. This was the newest. I think, I, think, I think this is called Hall of Phantom, Hall of Illusion Phantom, or something like that. Either way. It is done. I've got my guaranteed 2k and then this Loki kind of pointless, but whatever. I mean, we'll take it. I ain't going to complain. It is what it is. But I'm in, for, I'm, I'm, I'm in it for the 2k, boys. I'm in it for the 2k, especially with all the new characters coming up. But I'm just going to clean up because um, it realistically is just making sure that I don't die with my team. So now I know what's going on. But anyway, just quickly wanted to go over all of this, show you guys how difficult. This, this is challenging. This is very, very challenging. So... Um, I do hope that they do add more to this. Um, I don't know how long this is out for, actually. How long is this out for? Oh, it's out for 20 days. Okay. Well, that's fine. It is what it is. Pretty much, like, just over two weeks. Um, which is perfect, because, technically speaking, when it ends, the new characters come about, and I've got an extra 2k waiting for me to claim. So, thumbs up from me. But, overall, I really enjoyed this. A lot of fun. Um, I do hope that they continue on and add more to this boss fights. Really, really enjoyable, I will say.